Hi everyone, welcome to Java Express Academy. Today I'm going to explain a major change in Java 9 completely new that is about J shell. Okay, see here what is J shell? Now, J shell is a interactive console. Okay, it is not for the main coding purpose. It is just an interactive console. J shell is nothing but REPL tool. What does it mean? Read, evaluate, print, and loop. That is the meaning of REPL. By using this tool, we can execute Java code snippets and we can get immediate result. Like I want to perform some addition like 10 plus 20 equal to 30. You want to perform through Java programming. You want to know some result. You no need any uh, class file or Java compiler, Java runtime. These are all the things not even you no need to create Java file also by using this. Okay, J shell, you can execute your code snippets for that purpose. J shell is introduced here by using this shell. We can test and execute our Java expressions, classes, methods. Basically in the real time, it is useful for testing small code snippets very quickly. It's kind of a plug and play guys. Okay, by using J, uh, J shell, we can execute any piece of code without creating your class. That is the advantage of using the J shell here. Okay, now what kind of commands? Even lot of commands are there, but developer point of it's kind of a simple a demonstration purpose. I want to show you how to use the J shell in your local system. If you are installed already latest Java version, Okay, so here uh, just a type as a J shell here automatically a pop up. Uh, it will display console. See, welcome to the J shell version 17.05. If you want any information, just you can type slash help intro. You will get the complete information here, guys. Okay, now, now see here, suppose one plus five. Okay, enter. See, you are getting output as six. Okay, now you want to uh, assign to some variable int a equal to 10. Okay, now what I'm doing a plus uh, 80, see 90. Okay, now what kind of classes are available by default? Basically Java 9 completely module based system. What kind of imports means? See, just type as a imports. See, by default, all these import statements are available. You can write any class like an array list you want to create files or math classes, slang package, all by default import. You no need to import explicitly here. Okay. Now, uh, like I want to uh, perform, I want to define some kind of a uh, C here. I want to do some addition here. 10. Okay. Int B equal to 20. Okay. Now int C equal to A plus B. See, I want to display as a C. See, C equal to 30. You no need to write any methods here. It will be much more easiest part. Just I want to print some kind of a, um, a Java. I want to write into an uppercase. Okay. Just see, Java is printing string methods. These are all your string methods. You can create your array list object, everything, whatever you want, you can perform here. This is the way a J shell here. Okay, we have, if you want to exit, just you can use a slash exit here. You will get as a goodbye. Again, if you want to log in, just type J shell. If you need any help to know more information, help intro. You will see J shell allows us to execute Java code, getting immediate results. You can enter a Java definition, variables, methods, classes, etc. Some some kind of definition it is or Java expression, Java statement or import statement, whatever you want. If you need a more information by using the help command, you will get a complete information. You will get it here. See list of commands, edit editable mode, all the things you get. If you want to exit, just exit here goodbye that means you have terminated your j shell this is the use of the j shell that's it guys nothing else by using this concept here okay thank you guys